How's it going, fam? Welcome back to Erica ZDC, and today we are going to talk about some traditional knives. I'm very excited. We're going to talk about case knives versus GEC, do a little bit of an update on the testing of the carbon steels. But we have a disclaimer, go figure. I'm sure that you've noticed this. Um, I gave myself a black eye, so <laughs> sorry that I look like I just got into a fight. I didn't. I'm just not the brightest, oh, what's it? Not the brightest light bulb, not the most colorful crayon in the box. Um, I had like some weird spot on my face that I picked and my skin is very sensitive and it got very upset by that. And then I jammed the shower head into my eyeball when I was rinsing my hair. So uh, double whammy, we have a black eye forming now. Um, so that's great but the show must go on, of course. So let's talk a little bit about GEC carbon steel versus case carbon steel or the chrome vanadium, whichever. Um, it's kind of a topic that is discussed a lot in the community and people basically are wondering if GEC knives, Great Eastern Cutlery knives are worth the extra $150, $200 over case knives, right? Because that's really what it that's the price difference. Like you can get a carbon steel case knife for 39 bucks. Get those teeners on there. But generally speaking, you can't get a Northfield or a Great Eastern Cutlery knife for under $150. And that's, you're very lucky if you get one for $150. They're typically 170, 200, around that. So, um, today we're just going to talk about the differences ooh, that was close that I've noticed in using both very thoroughly and comparing the carbon steels. Okay. So, um, first thing is we have to talk about the buildup, right? Because with case, they have chrome vanadium, which I believe they're maybe discontinuing, and then they have carbon steel. And Doom Crew Outdoors brought some, some blades to work, and he has some type of mechanism that can test the composition of metal. And he has a video on that where he basically found out, you, you know, found out the the composition and the buildup of the chrome vanadium versus the carbon steel. I believe, if I remember correctly, the carbon steel is 06 tool steel, I, th I think. And then they do 1095, which is just plain old 1095, and then chrome vanadium, which is a carbon steel that they add something to, I think. Um, I should have written this down. You know, I'm, I'm terrible at these. Why do I even have a channel? <laughs> um, so yeah, basically, you know, Case does a few different types of carbon steels, tool steels. They've kind of been a mystery as to what the makeup is, but Doom Crew has a video explaining what was in each one. And they're all run at a pretty low hardness, you know, 57, um, I think 57 to 59. And they're, you know, the carbon steels are better than the, the true sharp, I think, in my opinion, a little bit better, but they're not anything to like write home about, okay? Um, they're, they're mostly for the cool effect in terms of the patina, like between the 1095, the chrome vanadium and the carbon steel, there's not a ton of a difference in terms of edge retention. They just really look cool, okay? And they, they work. You just have to, you know, touch them up a lot, in my opinion. Every couple days I'm hitting my case knives on a ceramic rod or a strop, what have you. Sorry, the mosquitoes are getting bad. When it comes to Great Eastern Cutlery, they use, I believe, the same carbon steel on all of their knives. It's just, it says carbon steel on all of them. And from my testing, in my opinion, it's definitely superior. Now I do think that geometry comes into play here because in my opinion GEC does a really good job at you know giving us the ultimate cutting experience in terms of thinning these edges out to a point where they're very good performers they slice very well but we're not losing the ability to like 
hard use them in the realm of traditional knives, right? Like our grandfathers used to use knives like this on the cattle ranch, out hunting, out fishing, and they are keeping true to that design, the vintage aesthetics, all of the characteristics of our grandfather's slip joints, you know, rugged, durable, but they're definitely giving us performance, right? We're paying $170 to $250 for these knives. We want them to actually cut and perform, and they are giving us those properties, okay? So in my opinion, whatever GEC is doing with the heat treat, the geometry, all of that, it is superior to case. These knives will outperform and outcut in terms of edge retention over a case knife. I don't have to touch up my GEC knives nearly as much as my case knives. Now, I have to put my own edge on all of the GECs that come through. Other than this one, this is the only one that I've ever gotten that came sharp. All of my other GECs came with literally no edge, just like it, an outline of a bevel that I should follow, but not an actual edge. Um, I don't think that's appropriate at all. I think when you're paying that much money for a knife, it should come sharp, but you know, whatever. Um, but if you put your own edge on these and you do it properly, they will 100% outperform a case knife any day between, like I said, the geometry, the heat treat, all that good stuff. They, they are actually just better. They're better built. The fit and finish is better. Everything about a GEC is, in my opinion, actually worth the hype and the money. Really frustrating that they're not readily available for most people like it doesn't necessarily bother me but i am very blessed to have people that um, hook me up with these knives i have tools and relationships with people where i can kind of get these to use and test on the channel but a normal everyday person is going to have way more trouble obtaining a gec or northfield compared to me which sucks for you guys right like i, I feel for you i'm very lucky not everyone has those hookups. But these knives are definitely worth the money in my opinion. I mean, just the fit and finish is alone is above and beyond what you will ever get from Case. They're very well built. They're very well made. All of the details are gorgeous, like this beautiful little swedge on this spade blade. Um, everything about this is snappy, perfection, beautiful, just gorgeous, right? So you know, you're paying a premium price, but you are getting, in my opinion, premium materials, pre premium build quality, everything that you would expect from a $150 to $200 knife, you are actually getting with GEC. And on top of that, you are getting the performance that you should get from a knife that's that expensive. They really will outperform a case knife any day. This one is much better, you know, because Josh redid the covers on it. So this was a Delrin, you know, plastic covered carbon steel knife that he put denim covers on, white liners, brass, all the good stuff. Um, this is obviously much better than it would be from Case now. It's modified with a half stop. So this is, you know, very cool and much better than you would get from Case. But again, like if you're talking about literally just getting a Case knife, it's not going to be nearly as good ever as a GEC. So um, with my GECs, I typically have to touch them up once a week, once every two weeks if I'm really using them a lot. With my case knives, no matter what the geometry is, what anything is, it's like every few days, end of story. It's just how it is. They're, the, they're just not hard enough. The steel is soft. They look cool, they're collectible, you know. Our grandfathers did use them, but our grandfathers also probably had to sharpen them every couple days, you know, touch them up on the leather belt almost daily after a, you know, a day of use at the farm. So it's really up to you, you know, if, if you're getting them just to cut your lunch up and your apples and stuff and um, any anything like that, it's not, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. You don't have to worry that much about edge retention, but if you're actually looking for like a, a hard use tool that you can use for days and days without having to worry about it, you may want to invest the extra money in a GEC because it's definitely worth it.
So really personal preference, but let's do a quick shout out to Josh over at Knife Guy Mods. He's the one that did this beautiful mod work. Check out his, God, these mosquitoes are brutal. Check out his Instagram page, Knife Guy 2112 on Instagram. He's doing the mod work for me for these traditional knives. He is doing a fantastic job. This is called the Blue Jane that just consists of denim blue micarta with or without liners. Beautiful build. You can grab one of these from him if you wish. He does other knives as well. Um, I will get him in here somehow in the comments or the description or something but josh francis over at knife guy mods he is fantastic i love his work really nice stuff that he's putting out beautiful and then obviously we have to shout out jesse who continuously sends in everything for the channel really um test knives clothes all types of stuff for the channel jesse sent me this beautiful cattle knife that I've been testing. It's amazing. So Jesse, thank you. I love you. You're perfect for me. And then lastly, we will shout out Michael Richter, who makes all of my leather slips. His business is called Richter Knives. He does the world's best leather work. You will never find anything as good as Michael Richter's work. Uh, we are trying to get him to do this full time by the end of the year. He's been at Walmart for so long that he probably started working there when he was a fetus and we want him out of there we want him doing leather work full time and we're the ones that are going to get him there so please go contact richter knives fill up his books uh he has a youtube channel richter knives instagram richter knives hit him up on instagram in his dms to place an order he does absolutely incredible work and i will link him in the description below as well but these slips are from him um, this is Horween leather and this one is Pueblo. Absolutely gorgeous. So there are, you know, those are my shout outs. That's what I have found so far testing these knives. Simply put, GEC is worth the money and the edge retention is better than a case knife. End of story. Um, I will see you guys on the next video. I love you very, very much. Thank you for tuning in. Go use your shit learn how to sharpen your knives. I will see you on the next video, hopefully without a black eye. I love you guys so much. Take care.